years went by and I remember I emailed her and she claimed that she didn't remember me, which I knew was bullshit because when I mentioned Judith Kitchen and her son, she claimed she didn't remember them either. So they must have had a falling out. So I, so I, I knew it wasn't just directed at me. A lot of times women uh, that I've known in the past will tell me, you know, they don't, they don't want to, to be in touch with me, not because of me, but because I'm from a bad part of the life. I don't know. I don't understand that with, with women. Um, but uh, the funny thing was, aside from the Matthews thing, was there was another girl who was in the dormitory, was I was saying, that came to me one night. Uh, there was maybe about, in this whole dormitory, it was empty. I guess it could have housed four or 500 people. There were maybe about eight or 10 people at the writing forum that stayed in that particular dorm. Other people were in town with other people. Um, and uh, I remember she came to me, and I remember I was watching this old TV show. I think it was called Sledgehammer. Uh, and, and we ended up in the sack and then I did the girl that, uh, was doing the lines or whatever the fuck she was doing with Matthews. One of the two girls that he had, I took one of the girls away or she came with me because I guess I was better than to be with a disgusting old pervert. Um, uh, but, uh, but the girl that I really wanted, I didn't get. So I got, I, I boffed two girls anonymously that I honestly can't remember their names of. But the girl that was sort of my dream Anne of Green Gables type girl, I didn't get. I remember. I remember she didn't. She refused to shave her legs. She said uh, because it, it wasn't natural, and she said she wouldn't use makeup because uh, w whales were killed for the, the makeup. So she was real hardcore in that way. But she was cute. Uh, she turned out to be a year older than me. I thought she was maybe a year younger. But uh, you know, she was sort of my nineteen eighties kind of ideal. But I never heard from her, and like I said, years later, I guess she had had a falling out with that Judith Kitchen and her son and whatnot. I don't know, but uh, so that 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 was basically the Incarnadine, a play on birds. Uh, that's where that came from. It recounts the William Matthews shit, uh, the the stuff with her, uh, the girl. Uh, uh, let's see here. Let's see. I walked a couple of miles. Anna Green Gables. Let it dead. Yeah, I wrote my feelings to her. Uh, and then let's see, I have a quivering phosphorescence, uh, brain a very bright object unseen, Uncle Freddy. Um, so yeah, and then so yeah, that's that's basically the backstory. Uh, she's one of those many females that I always remember, and it's it's typical of I guess men in that I remember the girls that I didn't get more than those that I did, and so she's she's sort of. Uh, I, I, I look back on her more fondly than I do some of the women that I did uh, have some sexual liaisons with.